Welcome back. We have successfully implemented the upload job dot dot. So we will close that and now we will start working right on the job screen. Just click on that first one. There we go with the job screen. Now let me open the dot file for that. So there we go with the job screen dot dot. Open that. Here we are. So now what we will do, we will simply first create a button right in here and also right in here. That first one will be simply for the field of list and there will be all the job and then so if the user want to look upon the specific job he can simply open that filter and click on that job we will implement that first and then right in here we will have a search icon it will be simply for the search screen so let's go and start working on that the first thing that I will do I will simply remove that title job screen okay we don't need this and you guys already know about that it's a job screen so come here and simply remove that title from here and that center title remove it now simply I didn't host reload the app I will go and host reload the app from here run man dot dot this will take some time just wait for a while and the text will be gone just in a while there we go the app is being initialized and here we are on the job screen the tax is gone job screen now the first button that we will create as I told before it will be simply for the filter list right in here so let's go and do that first right in here below this container it will be just right in the app bar so right in the app bar in here we will say reading there we go and then we say I can button the capital I there we go and now right in there simply will set the icon right in here remove that one I we put two I so it didn't show the suggestion so simply remove that I from here and there will be a suggestion there we go icon now simply what we will do we will say icon and let's have that icon in here filter list we will go with the rounded one okay filter list rounded you can choose whatever you want right in there now we will also set the color or that icon in here We will go with the black color. That's fine. Now it's going to take the on press event right down in here. For now, we will leave this empty and later on we will work on that. So, in here, first add the cost modifier. Okay. now simply just press the control s and you guys will notice that icon button there we go as you guys can see right in here on the left side right at top there we go with the filter list rounded icon now simply we will go towards the on press event and we will create a method and call upon right in there it's gonna be simply show talks categories dollar in which there will be a different kind of jobs 
as we implemented before writing the upload job dot dot so for time saving we will go simply to the upload job and we will copy that method from there and we will make a little change in it so simply go towards the upload job dot dot as you guys can see right in here open that we will go right at top and we are gonna copy the method show talks categories dollar okay simply from here wrap it and copy that whole method copy it now simply expand it again and we will close that upload job dot dot now we are back on the job screen as you guys can see right in here okay we will go above the widget build there we go widget build and right in here just pass the method that we copied before there we go okay as you guys can see right in here in here expand it now writing this method we will make a little change in here we will remove that and now first we will go and create a string type variable right above and there we will say a string gonna name this as a job category filter that's fine now copy that and go down right in here past it or you can manually write it in here click on this persistent simply import the library so the error will be gone then there we go with the first one as you guys can see the error has been gone already and guys one more thing I have already explained that method in detail right in the upload job dot dot so there is no need of that to explain it again it's just a simple code and I have already explained this in detail so in here we make this a little change okay so now it's gonna assign that right in this variable job category filter and right down in here we will also say if there will be any kind of dialog and basically if it can pop then what we will do right in the if we will simply remove that with the pop contacts there we go and if there will be no dialog box then right in else in here we will say no and we will do nothing it's a simple change now down in here we will simply print in here semicolon and tag this down in here we will print we will simply just print the job category list so in here we will say that in the string job or you can copy this from here okay simply copy that and paste it right in here as you guys can see then comma with the dollar sign which we will do right in there you will say persistent or you guys can simply for time seven copy that from here and paste it in there right in the curly brushes okay we simply just print that and all of the thing will be similar right in here now we will go to word C actions okay in here also we will make a little change and also we will add a text button another so in here we will change this cancel to close okay and also write down in here we will add a text button another okay move that we will add it just in a while in here comma 
take this down it's going to take the on press event ok since it's a start for widget so right in here we will say set state in here semicolon take this down and in here we will say job category filter we will equal that to no ok fine now we will simply copy that from here and paste it right in here it will be any kind of dialog box if it's kind of pop then we will remove that with the help of pop contacts or if there will be no dialog box then we will do nothing so in here we say now right after in here it is going to take the child and write in the text widget let's have that text for that button it is going to be cancel filter so the user can simply cancel the filter if he didn't want and then we will say style text style as usual and then let's check the color we will go with the white that's all now in here add the const modifier all fine so simply write in here that first tax button is going to simply close the dialog filter and that second tax button it will cancel the filter you guys will get the idea whenever we run the app and test it so don't worry about it you will just check it in a while but first let me complete that now simply what we will do we will go and use that method okay so let us go down right in the icon button in waiting on press even in here okay we will say underscore show tax categories dialog okay it's going to take the size okay but right in the widget bill we didn't define the size type okay we will go and define that first there we go with the widget build and right in here we will say size type size and in here media quite there we go but off contacts dot size so it's gonna take the size of the screen whatever it will be write it and semicolon and now we're gonna use that size and the error will be gone there we go the error has been gone already write it and semicolon as I tell you we call upon that method and it's gonna take the size okay and all the work has been done for that button now simply just hold to load the app clicking here it's going to take a while so there we go now simply come here and click on this filter icon and you guys will notice the filter list download okay just click on that and there we go the job category and all of the jobs and you guys can see that right in here and also there we go with the close tax button and also the cancel filter so now in here if the user want to look for the specific job right in here then he or she can simply select that job from here and it will show that job suggestion for that right on the job screen but we didn't implement the query and the design for the job screen yet so we will work on that right in the upcoming videos and right after then if we click on that business since we upload that one job according to that business it was for assistant and you guys know already about that so whenever we will complete the query and the design and then come right in here and click on that business it will be simply right in here according to the business suggestion 
a job will be right in here so for now there is nothing because we didn't implement the query and the design we will work on that right in the future videos so don't worry for that so as you guys can see it's working totally fine and if the user want to cancel the filter he can simply or she click on that button and it will cancel the filter and if they don't want to cancel the filter they can simply close the dialog so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that right in here we have successfully implemented that so let's go close that and basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya